I'm making a complete fool of myself. Is it like the most iconic? I'm gonna see my puppy real quick. Bubby's ween. As soon as I started this channel and started to get more into modern day music, the things that are getting produced today, I have been saying that 2024 feels like the callback year. Like I'm just seeing a lot of little like retro things come up in music, right? Uh, things like just even like the square aspect ratio of the music videos, right? The grainy filters of the music videos, the disco coming back to pop with things like Ariana Grande and Sabrina Carpenter, right? Like there's the, the old school hip hop beats that J. Cole is making. It just feels like like 2024 is a callback year. And one of the bands that first got me into playing guitar, probably uh, my first five songs that I learned how to play on the guitar was from Led Zeppelin. Love Led Zeppelin. Who could not love Led Zeppelin and recognize them as like this pioneer in the genre of rock? Uh, so today we're gonna go Led Zeppelin, Black Dog, live at the Madison Square Garden in 1973. Let's check it out. The, the amount of riffs that Jimmy Page was able to create is just mind boggling. It's, it's, it's so crazy. Like you, you look at uh, modern day, I don't know, pop punk or anything like that. Like we come up with these one or two really catchy riffs inside of a song but then you look at this old school led zeppelin old school rock and it's like the whole song the whole song is a riff right it's not like these like four it's not like these four chords uh power chords playing this this four power chord progression going on it's like the whole song is a riff and it still works it works so well it works so well, and it's one of those things where it's like, can we still do this today? I know people are going to bring up, like, Greta, Greta Van Fleet and everything, but all right, let's keep going. He's got a key. He's got a key on his uh, pants. And correct me if I'm wrong, but like Rock and Led Zeppelin, they've got to have quite a bit of like blues influence. And and one thing that I noticed with this song right that and I've, I've heard this song since i was a kid right since i was a middle schooler learning how to play this song but just you know kind of analyzing it a little bit more now this call and response that's happening with the uh vocals and then the little guitar riff feels real bluesy to me you know just that like call and response like in old in in, in traditional or i guess you can say like the beginning of blues you have a lot of that call and response uh with different instruments doing like a little quick solo and then it for a bar or two and then it passes off to the other instrument they do a quick solo and then it passes back off to you this room this is like giving me that that blues type of vibe you know oh, i would have been so cool to be there it been so cool to be there Well, people mean by 
down and down Do we think that this song is the most, uh, is it like the best riff that Jimmy Page has ever came up with? Is it like the most iconic? Is there a better one? You know? Like, there's the, uh, oh, what is that song called? How am I forgetting it right now? But it goes, brain, brain, dun, 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 goodness it's such a perfect it's such a perfect balance of like showing both of these musicians their talent like you, even though there's these long breaks with no vocals and it's just guitar you don't miss uh the vocals right and then there's the vocals that come in you don't miss the guitar like the the choice to just like drop out completely and allowing the attention and the focus to keep switching. Such a good choice. I'm just having a blast here. I'm having a blast, like, catching up on this. You, like, hit the harmony on that or something? Solo right here is just insane. There's these like subtle things every once in a while that sound like a mistake and maybe they're not, but even if they are, he gets right back on it so quickly and then makes it sound like it wasn't a mistake. Oh, my puppy's in here. What's up, bubby? What's up, bubs? You want to see my puppy real quick? This is Linus. He's my sweet bubby's ween. You want to watch some Led Zeppelin with me, bubby? What do you think? We're almost done. Insane, insane. Oh my gosh. And then Sometimes I forget because I'm not a drummer myself, you know, but he's a fantastic drummer. And I wonder if he's overrated. I can't, or underrated. I can't imagine that he is, but he's just so good. He also just seems like every time I see a live video of him playing the drums, he always seems like he's like he's doing a workout. But isn't that what doing drums is? Like I heard drums have like the the best core strength, you know. So good. 
he doing dual picking there? Was he using his uh his finger and the pick? Boom! Or is it? Or is his fingers just so loose that they're like flicking around? You know? What do you think, bubbies? Led Zeppelin, incredible. Thanks for watching.